Here is Danny and today let's take a look at some of the funkiest and unique weapons in Battlefield that could be from any game in the franchise. If you think I missed one let me know in the comments down below. Most of the guns in the Battlefield franchise are your standard run of the mill guns like the SCAR, STG44 and such. But there is also some guns that handle very differently from anything else in the game. Either because of a different firing mode, very interesting tech or they are just straight up weird. Like the first one on my list, the finger gun. You shoot people with your finger while also making gun noises. Pew pew! It sadly doesn't deal much damage though, but at least it did more damage than the FG42 when dice changed the time to kill for the second time. The full easter egg video is linked in the comments and it has the most painful reload ever in it. While on the topic of easter eggs, it is not peacekeeper but it is the reverse revolver. It is a revolver that points right at you, perfect for if you want to stop playing Battlefield 5. It has never been activated as an easter egg sadly. In Battlefield Hardline we got a freaking harpoon, an all kit weapon that is a harpoon gun. No retracting of the harpoon itself, but it can insta kill on a lot of ranges, but it has a long reload time. There is also an explosive pickup variant with only 3 shots. The improvised gun is next, the game's first 3D printed custom weapon, and if you add a silencer it gets an oil filter on top to muzzle the sound. In general, Hardline has a lot of great unique and weird guns. Like the Gator Gun Easter Egg where you pick up an alligator from the swamps and murder people with it. We also have the first akimbo guns in the game, namely the Dual VZ-61s. Well, Dual Scorpions aren't unique to Battlefield Hardline, just look at Black Ops, it is the first time in the Battlefield franchise. For Battlefield 1 we also got the Burton LMG, one of the few guns that has two magazines. It was also being able to fire incendiary ammo, making life for pilots just a little bit harder. And as you might know, if a Battlefield pilot cries in a chat, an angel gets its wings. Then there is the Perino, a gun that you could always top up when firing. It is also water cooled. Never stop firing, only keep shooting. It was 27 kilo in real life, so you couldn't run around with it like in Battlefield. Another one of those funky clip loaded guns is the Benet Merci, that pushes it from the side and puts in another clip. The gun itself is fine. Or the Martini Henry, reload every shot, deal massive damage and have a very very satisfying sound. But if you think the Perino is too big? Something that does fit in your hand was the Colibri, the smallest pistol of the time. I love the surprised reaction when your soldier selects it. Who brings this into battle? Also one of the secret third person animations is that he loses it on the ground, which is quite funny. Of course there is the Phantom Bow, which is a compound bow, which is a less useful X-Bow from Battlefield 3 which could switch bolts on the fly, it could insta kill and it was a gadget instead of a primary. The Phantom did have some really weak poison arrows too, but you had to respawn in order to select it. There is also a railgun in Battlefield 4, charge it up and insta kill people and it is fun to use. It also has the same kind of ping effect that you get from a M1 Garand when you eject the bullet. In Battlefield 5 there is the M3 Infrared, while on paper today it is nothing special, an off the shelf gun with bipod suppressor and thermal sights. However you have to remember that it was World War 2, that tech was very special and pretty wild too, just look at the size of this absolute unit. Then there is the General Liu rifle, it is a 6 bullet self loading rifle. But if you don't want any of that modern self loading nonsense, you can change its firing mode to bolt action. Which also means that you can get one shot headshots 
and snipe people with a medic weapon. After that there is the Marislag, basically a pocket sniper rifle as a secondary. I'm not amazing with it, but it is fun to use. On Operation Outbreak there is a hipfire only M60 that shoots rounds with area damage. And also has a bad company grenade on it. There is also the C100 knife used by the Colonel 100 soldier in the Battlefield French YouTube series. You get it when reaching level 100. It has a bipod on a knife. Another melee weapon is the Dut Club. It is a grenade on a stick that probably won't explode. Until it does, which can happen, killing you in the process. And then there is also the pickup nail gun in Battlefield Hardline. Of which you can really say, nailed it. There are also giant swords. Because nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Or what about the T-62 Taser, shocking your enemies back to the spawn screen, while also being able to interrogate them for info about where their team is. Another fun thing that should totally come back to Battlefield 2021 is the zipline. It is not really a weapon per se, but you can totally kill with it. There is also a triple barrel shotgun called the Mammoth Gun. Just look at the way the guy is holding him in the spawn screen. He has some serious power. And to end it all off, well these aren't weapons per se, they are cool and unique. Like the old cannon, firing cannonballs at enemies with automatic weapons, that's cool. Or the pot launcher, launching yourself up into the sky or onto flex. Or the hoover tank, it's a tank that hoovers. But hey, that is all I got for now. Subscribe for more. This was Danny and I. See you on the battlefield.